What you're about to see is a Seventh-day Adventist pastor preach to a huge TV audience that the God of the Muslim and the God of the Christian are one and the same. As we know via the testimony of an ex-Jesuit priest named Alberto Rivera, who was killed for his testimony, the Roman Catholic Vatican invented Islam hundreds of years ago to do away with the Sabbath-keeping Jews and Christians. And by the way, you can see the documented proof by copying the URL you see on the screen into your browser right now. Even though we know that this is indeed a confirmed historic fact, in the following video, not only does Pastor Dwight Nelson of the Pioneer Memorial SDA Church state we shouldn't look to Rome to research Islam, he also declares on 3ABN back on December 11th of 2010 in a sermon titled, Star Still Rising Over Islam, that Allah is the same God of the Christians and the Koran holds the same truths as the Bible. Also notice his body movements and the tone of his voice as he preaches this spurious sermon. He is actually using what's called neuro-linguistic programming on his audience. For those of you that are unaware of NLP or neuro-linguistic programming, it is a modern term for an old Masonic method of mass hypnosis that was used to spread their message to the masses in their infancy. In fact, the SDA Church has already been found to have been training hundreds of pastors to use this technique for decades. Copy the link on the screen that you see now to view the 200 names of the SDA leaders that have been trained in this satanic art called neuro-linguistic programming or mass hypnotism. As you watch this video, keep in mind that it was prophesied in both scripture and the spirit of prophecy that the Seventh-day Adventist church would fall into sin and become a sister to fallen Babylon. This sermon that is preached by a general conference SDA pastor on a mainstream television program is proof, hands down, this church is indeed Babylon today. Now, as you watch this pastor preach the Koran is holy, regardless of the fact it states clearly in the Koran that Christians must die, and over 200,000 Christians are being martyred each and every year by Muslims right now, this SDA pastor actually preach we should worship Allah along with them. Notice the picture on your screen right now. That's actually Seventh-day Adventist students bowing to Allah in a Muslim mosque in Arusha. I share this picture to illustrate this isn't just one pastor doing this in the SDA church. This photo can be found in the summer issue of Andrews University 2009 Focus Magazine on page 21. You can also view or download this picture by copying the link on your screen right now. The fact this happened back in 2009 proves this is nothing new for the SDA church. As far as we know, they have now been preaching a pro-Islam message in their churches and universities for at least two years. Keep in mind, it has also been at least two years since the Vatican has been performing an ecumenical push with the Islamic people as well. With that being said, let's take a look at the video. That if you want to know the truth about Islam, don't go to Rome. Go to Bethlehem instead. I recently listened to a series of CDs, lectures given by the late Dr. Robert Darnell, a member of our community of faith, an expert in Islamic studies, an anthropologist, in which he carefully chronicled how, in fact, the Quran teaches the seeds of every divine truth that you and I embrace. The seeds are all there. It was uh, Darnell's lifetime mission and conviction to cultivate those seeds in dialogue with the children of the East. And in an hour of history, when the West is turning against those children, ought we not to be the first to raise up our voices in their behalf? Think. Why shouldn't we? For what if? And by the way, the story of Christmas would hardly let us do otherwise, would it? What if the Spirit, the mighty Spirit of Allah... By the way, I got some letters from viewers after that last teaching. And one viewer said, don't you know that the, that the name Allah is a name for Lucifer? Oh, I hope you never, I hope you never, 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 never embrace that. Allah, listen carefully now. Allah is closer to Elohim the Hebrew name for God, then is our English word God. In fact, hold on to your seats. The English name God is a Nordic pagan God. We've taken a pagan God's name and we said, that's the name of our God. And we all call him God. That's a pagan. It's a Nordic pagan myth. So don't you ever get pushed into the corner where you're saying, Allah is a demonic name. Allah is the name of the living God. Allah is the creator of the universe. Allah is the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Ishmael, 
Jethro, Job, and even Balaam. If you have not yet left the Seventh-day Adventist Church in obedience to Jesus Christ and His truth, as it is proclaimed in Revelation 18, then I implore you to please visit sdaapostasy.org for all the information you will need to make the proper decision. Your eternal life depends on it. God bless.